Are you ready, man? Every moment was made for me, buddy. The question is, are you ready? <laughs> hey, you know my name's Speed, right? You know my name's Speed, right? Noah's answer. So and you know I'm going in. You gave yourself that name. That's so cute. Mike drop. Everyone knows that Noah Lyles is a bragger. It appears I show speed is too, but as you saw, he's no match for Lyles in that regard, as well as in a race. It is a well-known fact that since his Paris Olympics victory, Noah Lyles has been challenged by numerous individuals for a 60-meter dash. The most notable of these has been his back and forth with Miami Dolphins star Tyreek Hill, who had claimed that he was faster than the Olympic gold medalist. While that race still seems to be in the works, Noah decided to take on another contender, Twitch sensation iShow Speed. And so, a few days ago, the American sprinter and Olympic gold medalist raced again, but not for any medals. Instead, the three time medalist competed for $100,000 against streamer iShow Speed. Noah, this is what we're racing for right here. iShow Speed, whose real name is Darren Watkins Jr has over 33 million subscribers on YouTube as well. During a stream, Watkins received a FaceTime call from YouTuber MrBeast, who was with Lyles in Florida. What seemed to be a regular call from the YouTuber caught Watkins off guard when he saw Lyles standing beside MrBeast, whose real name is James Donaldson. Look who I got right here, Donaldson told Watkins over the phone. Watkins quickly recognized Lyles and wasted no time challenging the 27-year-old. Noah, I race me, Watkins said to Lyles. Lyles responded to the challenge confidently. When you want to lose, man, Lyles replied. To which the famous streamer replied, I need to prove the world I'm the fastest man alive, bro, and I need to race you, so me and you need to race. He then proceeded to ask about Lyles' whereabouts. It turns out Lyles and Donaldson were at a track in Orlando, Florida when they called Watkins, who was in Miami. Noah, I promise I'm going to beat you. My name is Speed for a reason, Watkins said moments before ending his stream and making the three-hour drive. I show Speed, the streaming sensation who dominates YouTube, is not just known for his gaming and viral antics. He's now claiming to be an athletic force that has everyone too scared to race him. In a year packed with jaw-dropping feats, like jumping over moving supercars, attempting the backflip world record, and sparring with a boxing legend, Speed has set the bar high for himself. But the latest moment to catch fans' attention happened on November 6th, when Speed faced off against Olympic runner Noah Lyles in a $100K foot race, called out by MrBeast and Lyles himself. The race went as most people would expect. While I show speed impressively kept up, Lyles got out to a lead and seemed to showboat a bit as he jumped across the finish line. I show speed swore he won, while Lyles disagreed. When they looked back at the footage, there still was some disagreement, with Lyles admitting he looked at him and jumped. Oh, there I am. Wow. There you are back there. <laughs> My he did turn around and look at you. I looked at him and then started jumping. <laughs> Just for fun. No, you did not. I show speed claimed that if the race had been 40 meters, he would have won. And he even challenged Lyles to a rematch. The gold medal winner didn't agree, but said there is some potential in the live streamer. You should practice with me. And then at the end of the week, we'll race again. Lyles told I show speed. You'll be faster. You'll know what to do. You'll have the techniques. You'll have the advantage. Then we can run the real man's race, the 100 up. I show speed also claimed that he never ran track before, and he was faster than Lyles in raw speed. However, Lyles said he didn't hit top speed, and the content creator said he didn't either. You tapped out with 30 meters to go, Lyles said before mocking I show speed's running. I was looking at you, bruh, because I had that time, you know. With that, he earned the coveted prize. Unsurprisingly though, Lyles decided the money he won would be donated to charity. What charity do you want me to donate this hundred grand to? I'd love for Speed to have it, but the kids I'm working for need it more. Oh my God, <laughs> whoa! Speed may have lost to Lyles, but that did not make a dent in his seemingly overflowing confidence. In fact, he said in a stream, everyone is afraid to run against me. I'm not going to name names, Speed began, hinting that he had spoken to some athletes, but that they had not agreed to race against him, 
for fear that he might beat them. He is so confident in his abilities that he has decided to launch a challenge to anyone. It doesn't matter what they are professionals, they are all afraid to run against me. It is a call for whoever wants, even for Noah. Of course, he had to comment that the fastest man in the world decided not to run against him again, and it would be for this reason. That was the reason why Noah didn't want to run against me again, because he knows that if he had run again, he would have lost. I wasn't tired, everyone is afraid to run against me. The track community is not buying it though. Many believe Noah Lyles barely broke a sweat, and some fans even thought he was practically jogging by the time he crossed the finish line. Speed may have held his own, but the track pros are quick to remind everyone that tiny margins, like a mere second, are everything in this sport. Case in point, Lyle's photo finish victory in the 100 meter finals at the Paris Olympics. So, most of the track community isn't exactly taking Speed's race too seriously. Three-time Olympic medalist Gabby Thomas added her own take, quipping, this wasn't close, like at all. Still, there's a lively debate among fans, with some praising Speed's athleticism, while others are firmly team nice try. Many fans are convinced that Noah Lyles wasn't exactly breaking a sweat in his 50-meter dash against I Show Speed. That is cap. Noah was clearly not trying, said one fan. Of course, Noah Lyles is still arguably the fastest man on earth. After all, he's an Olympic champion, a six-time world champion, and the owner of the American 200-meter record. But as you all know, he doesn't want to stop at that. As he has made his mark as an athlete, Lyles also has sought to transcend track and field. In an interview with the Washington Post in 2019, he said, Yes, it's nice to be fast, but what could take you over the top? Usain Bolt, household name, transcended the sport. Michael Phelps, swimmer, transcended the sport. What is going to take you from being just popular in track to being popular in the world? By being different or by being you? You can't get to that point by being somebody else. Obviously, that isn't an issue for him, especially since Lyles' individuality is apparent in his varied interests, which include music, art, and fashion. He has drawn particular attention for his efforts to inject some glamour into his sport. So what's next for him? In a recent announcement, the qualification system for the World Athletics Relays 2025 has been released. With the main event scheduled for May, Guangzhou, Tokyo will be the first instance China will be playing host. The seventh edition of the high-profile tournament will see top athletes battle for supremacy in five categories. These are mixed 4 by 400 meter relays and the men's and women's 4 by 400 meter and 4 by 100 meter races. Looking at the qualification criteria, a total of 32 teams will qualify for the finals. Among them, the countries that finished in the top 16 at the Olympics will be awarded automatic qualification status. This means that the USA and Botswana, too, will clash against each other after the incredible Olympic rivalry. It will be the clash of the titans in Noah Lyles and Letzilla Tabogo, two of the fastest male track athletes alive at the moment. Now that's something to look forward to. Watch this to see what other athletes are up to.